This is a continuation of our day one ride. We're just, we had just been to the Hatfield Family Cemetery and we're leaving that and we're heading on to the Rock House trail system. Our plan was to, to go all the way to Man and then go back. We had got to man and we're headed back. We had an incident where we uh, had a head on crash with a guy on a motorcycle. Uh, getting what getting get in there the afternoon and, that. and we hadn't ate our lunch yet we had took a lunch with us to eat on the trail so on the map we had it showed an overlook so we thought we'd try to go to this overlook and uh, might be a good spot to eat our lunch Uh, this is the overlook we came up to and we did eat our lunch. We sat there on that rocks there on the left there and eat our lunch. Parked down there a little ways. And after I got done eating, I got the drone out, went down here to the overlook and blew it up. And uh, I had my back turned to, to my wife, Janice. And... Uh, while I'm flying the drone around, a uh, ranger came up and he checked checked our helmets to make sure we had helmets and that we had the the sticker pass you have to buy to ride there. And then he also wanted to check our cooler, which didn't matter, but. He did check our coolers to make sure we didn't have any alcohol with us. So I'm just letting people know. I, I was told, you know, once that they people's rode there for years and never never been uh, checked or anything. Well, <laughs> I don't know if it's just beginner's luck, but this is our first time there. See, now there I am flying the drone. I don't even know he's back there, but you can see he had my wife go down. He looked in our in our uh, rig and. Uh, Checked our helmets, and we had a little backpack in there. He wanted to know what was in it, which was just the drone and camera stuff we had. And then he wanted to look at our cooler, so they walked up there, back up to where we were sitting. You know, we didn't have nothing in it but Diet Coke and water. And, and we had our lunch in there, which we ate. But my wife even tried to give him some Oreos, but he wouldn't take them. And while we were there, uh, some people drove by, and he ran over there and stopped them on the ATV and checked them out, too. So they do check. So we uh, left there, and we're still headed towards Man, which is the far end of the Rock House Trail. Uh, my wife's driving now. She's 
she likes to uh, to drive if it's not too too uh, difficult of trails and it's not real busy. And uh, here's some people, and you see they're giving the hand signs. If you, most people know, but somebody, some people might not know, but you give up, you give a hand signs for how many people's in your group behind you coming still. And if you hold up a closed fist, that means that that you're the last one. headed to a waterfalls and uh, we came by this and we thought well this is the waterfalls well actually I don't believe it is the waterfalls that they're talking about on the map As we left there, we didn't go hardly any distance at all. And then I think we actually did come to the the waterfalls they were talking about on the map. But my wife's driving here, so I had her uh, pull down there and back up in front of the waterfalls like most people do and get a picture. Where we ride down in Arkansas a lot, down at Mulberry Mountain, Mill Creek area, there's a lot of waterfalls there. We're headed on. You see a lot of those vent holes in different places. But we're headed on to the, the man and go across the world's longest ATV bridge. This one's how they have it labeled on the map. There's my wife driving. There's some pretty good drop-offs on the side of the trail, but the trails are pretty wide. Lots of switchbacks. It's It's kind of a neat little, little uh, rock formation they got here that you can climb up in and walk around. We came up, there was a couple that was there. They were from Ohio, and uh, 
formation. They had just come down for the day. No, ride. we're going to stop and get out and take a few pictures. No, you're fine. No, no, we're we're going to get out. I'm just putting a waypoint out. Oh, it's hers? <laughs> hey, where, you see where I'm sitting. <laughs> That's where I just got out of. Uh, I people says, people says, you're awful brave. I said, what do you mean brave? It's just having your wife drive. We don't have our wives drive. I said, I'll put it this way. If we're up in a place like this and something happens to me, she's got to get us out. Yeah. She knows how to load it, strap it. Well, she watches me do it. <laughs> she never does I that. I taught her how to do everything. That way, if anything happens to me, yeah. she can get us where we, where we need to go. And then we went by a couple of waterfalls way back, and then we head, we're headed over. We want to go to the world's longest ATV bridge, but that's the way we're headed, if, if I think. And then we got to start heading back. Get on, get on trail 10. I'll take you straight to it. 10? Yeah. 10. Okay. Yep. You guys wearing helmets? Yeah. We had a ranger check us. Uh, we, we didn't I talked to one on, people. Oh, that says. We didn't put a sticker on the helmet. Well, we got mics in our helmet, too. To wear well, he checked our helmets sticker. and that we had the sticker. Yeah. And he checked our And coolers. I checked our cooler. Oh, yeah, oh, really? that's fine. They There's can check our cooler. Well, our two, but we I'm just. one more water. I'm just, yeah, I was going to say, I, I wish we'd have brought more water now. <laughs> so dying. Well, it's the edge right there. I don't need to roll down there. I'm not going to get hey, in. But we've went. Uh, I don't have it. It's our first time here. Us, us too, too. so yeah, we're. Huh? Did they stop you on the trail? We were stopped in it. We were eating lunch at uh, Out an over the an overlook. Yeah. And we, he came up. We on went us. 50 miles so far, so. No, we start. Yeah, uh, those people went on, so then I uh, walk up here, and you can walk, kind of walk around inside this rock formation. People uh, really sprayed a lot of graffiti and stuff on it. But they were from Ohio, and they just came down for the day. I don't know. It's, it's kind of strange. You know, I was when they said Ohio, I was thinking it quite a ways away, but not too bad for them. It's uh, it's like us driving down to Arkansas when we go ride. About the same distance. I would think the, the best time of the year to come down here would be in the fall, but I'm not sure exactly when. Now, this is where we came out of the Rock House Trail. This would be the entrance if if you were turned around going back, what we just did. So we needed to get some gas, or I, I wanted to get some because we would be getting close to going back. So here, this is the world's longest ATV bridge and this is what you have to go across this to go into man because they, they don't allow you to drive on the road going around this it was a uh, I guess it was an old crane bridge and they uh, surfaced it so turn it into the bridge for the ATV to come across So we went on into man, got gas, and now we're, we turn around and come back. And this is where uh, you get onto the Rock House trail system. Well, there's no going that way. I thought... Well, we're headed back. We got we to gotta get back. Supposedly, you're not allowed to ride on the trails after dark, so we got a long ways to go. We're headed back. 
then that's when we uh, had the accident with the motorcycle. See, it, it's just bad timing. The ground's hard packed, so he just slid. I slid when I hit the brakes. He slid when he hit, hit the brakes. And you need a drink or something, buddy? Some more time. If it had been, <laughs> you know, five seconds earlier or later, we wouldn't have met the, right there. Uh, I ran right underneath of it. Oh, really? Yeah, he laid down. Oh, I see your knob marks. I wanted to make sure he was all right. I didn't want to go off and leave him. Because you never know. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. This stuff is all right, as long as you're okay. <laughs> this stuff can be, can be fixed if anything's tore up. And you got your fender though, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, he tore up a bunch of plastic, at, and I don't know, I tore up his uh, instrument. It ain't brand new anymore, is it? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's a pretty new bike for him. Hadn't had it too long, I guess. I got it on, Go I got it on GoPro, too. Oh, God. So, hey, do you don't mind if I put it on my YouTube, oh, do you? Here. Okay. What's your channel? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we'll give you a sticker. We got them. <laughs> we got stickers I give out right with my on. YouTube channel well, on it. So I we mean, give I him just, one. Well, you disappeared. You didn't pop right up. I'm thinking, oh, crap. <laughs> but, uh, well, hey, if you watch this, I want you to leave me a comment and let me know. Make sure, let me know you got back all right and that you were okay. Because I can only imagine how bad. He I might be hurt the next day. But uh, <laughs> stayed there and talked to him, talked to him for a few minutes to make sure he was okay. But well, I'll look up your YouTube channel. Wish, he was uh, worried about my wife if she was all right. You okay? Oh, I'm fine. Just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> so. Uh, you got, you got your you brought extra pants, right? Your arm were there. I only walked up the brakes for about four foot. How fast were you going? 20. Yeah, I don't even know if I was I going 20 or not. I, well, well, 20 and 20 is 40. That's pretty damn fast out here. When you I had my brakes on, though. Okay. I probably yeah. stripped off at least a couple of miles an hour. I, I got hit. You have a safe trip back the rest of the way. <laughs> yeah. There's you even left out here. There well, was I was, you know, we haven't run into too many people. I don't yeah. know. I've run into. Yeah, yeah you're only the <laughs> fourth person we ran into. <laughs> yeah, no. don't, don't pay no attention. He's a smart ass to everybody. That's just it's something I'm right. right. yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it, and I even turned my lights on, although they. I was getting ready to. Because I thought, well, I turned my lights on and my whips on. I thought, well, it's getting darker, so. <laughs> All right, well, sorry for inconvenience. All right. Just... Oh, no, I'm just glad you're okay. I'm sure it busted my fucking screen, though. My, uh, my odometer? My... Did it? Yeah. He hit hard, I'm going to tell you, but I, I, you disappeared. You completely disappeared, so I couldn't see you. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, geez, I hope he ain't up under there too far. We should be good. Thank you very much for your hospitality. Oh, yeah. Well, that was the end of our ride. This is uh, our day one ride. We were gone for eight hours. Moving time, five hours. Stop time, two hours. 101 miles. 
And I'll tell you what, we're getting old. Used to be 100 miles, didn't bother. <laughs> we was beat when we got back. So we'll, uh, getting ready to start day two. We'll, uh, see what happens. On day one, I had a motorcycle run into me. And, uh, bent my A arm. Kind of hard to tell, but right here, it's bent, so I'll probably be replacing that when I get home. It's not so bad that I can't ride, but boy, he hit me hard. <laughs> or I hit him, however you want to put it, but it was a bad hit. Luckily, he didn't seem to be hurt too bad. I'm sure he's sore today, though. But... He might have scratched this up too because that wasn't on there before. But the main thing is nobody got hurt, so a few parts and back to where it was at. Well, anyways, I rinsed this thing off there. One good thing about this place we're staying is they have a hose you can use. It's all kind of rinsed it off a little bit when we got back but it was pretty dark they got this hose that at all the cabins got a hose that they can you can rinse the big stuff off anyway well today we're going to go to uh buffalo trails is the plan for today we'll see how it goes <laughs> 